this is Fanny. You are watching Fun HS Info. Today I am going to talk about liquid nitrogen safety. Liquid nitrogen is one of the cryogenic liquids used in industries. As cryogenic means related to very low temperature, it is an extremely cold material. At atmospheric pressure, liquid nitrogen boils at minus 320 degree Fahrenheit or 196 degree centigrade. It is liquefied under high pressure and can expand to a very large volumes of gas. 1 liter of liquid nitrogen becomes 24.6 feet cube or 0.7 meter cube of gas. Do not attempt to handle liquid nitrogen until you read and fully understand the potential hazards, their consequences and the related safety precautions. What are the hazards of liquid nitrogen? Extremely cold, the vapor of the liquid can rapidly freeze skin tissue and eye fluids resulting in cold burns, frostbite and permanent eye damage even by brief exposure. Expatiation, liquid nitrogen expands 695 times in the volume when it vaporizes and has no warning properties such as odor, color. Hence, if sufficient liquid nitrogen is vaporized so as to reduce the oxygen percentage below 19.5%, there is a risk of oxygen deficiency which may cause unconsciousness, death may result if oxygen deficiency is extreme. Oxygen Enrichment When transferring liquid nitrogen, the oxygen in the air surrounding a cryogenic containment system can dissolve and create an oxygen enriched environment as the system returns to ambient temperatures. Pressure Buildup and Explosions A tightly sealed container will be build up pressure as the liquid boils and may explode after a short time. The safety instructions to handle liquid nitrogen Liquid nitrogen should be handled in well ventilated areas. Handle the li liquid slowly to minimize boiling and splashing. Use tongues to withdraw object immersed in the cryogenic liquid. Boiling and splashing always occur when changing or filling a warm container with cryogenic liquid or when inserting object into these liquids. Do not transport liquid nitrogen in wide mouthed glass divars or divar is not protected with safety tape. Use only approved containers, impact resistance containers that can withstand the extremely low temperature should be used. Materials such as carbon steel, plastic and rubber become brittle in these temperatures. Only store liquid nitrogen in containers with, with rules fitting lids. Never seal liquid nitrogen in a container. A tightly sealed container will build up pressure as the liquid boils and may explode after a short time. Never touch non-insulated vessels containing cryogenic liquids. Flesh will stick to extremely cold materials. Even non-metallic materials are dangerous to touch at the low temperatures. Never tamper or modify safety devices such as cylinder walls or regulators of the tank. Liquid nitrogen should only be stored in well ventilated areas. Do not store in a confined space. Do not store liquid nitrogen for long periods in an uncovered containers. Cylinders should not be filled to more than 80% of the capacity since expansion of the gases during warming may cause excessive pressure buildup. Personal protective equipment to be used while handling liquid nitrogen. Eye and face protection, a full face shield over safety glasses or a chemical splash goggles are recommended during transfer and handling of cryogenic liquids to minimize injuries associated with splash or explosion. Skin protection, loose fitting thermal insulated or leather gloves, long sleeve shirts and trousers without cuffs should be worn while handling liquid nitrogen. 
safety shoes are also recommended while handling containers a special note on insulated gloves gloves should be loose fitting as they are able to to be quickly removed if the cryogenic liquid is spilled on them first aid if a person seems to become dizzy or loses consciousness while working with liquid nitrogen move to well ventilated area immediately if breathing has stopped apply artificial respiration if breathing is difficult give oxygen call a physician keep warm and at rest if exposed to liquid or cold gas restore tissue to normal body temperature 98.6 degree fahrenheit as rapidly as possible followed by protection of the injured tissues from further damage and infection how to dispose never dispose a liquid nitrogen in confined areas or places where other may enter dispose of liquid nitrogen should be done outdoor in safe place pour the liquid slowly in gravel where it can evaporate without causing damage do not pour the li- liquid on the pavement this is about liquid nitrogen safety hope you understand thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share my videos have a safe day